Hello! This is eLife Reflections. Welcome to another time of study. Today, we will reflect on the topic, Does Your Moral Glorify God? And this is episode 4 in the series, Does Your Life Glorify God? Today, our scripture verse is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 3 to 6. I read from the New King James Version. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion of lust, like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother in this matter because the lord is the avenger of all such as we also forewarned you and testified amen because christ had to die to redeem us from the bondage of sin and to sanctify us for himself he wants this sanctification to be evident and this is the will of God. Paul in the passage above admonishes the church in Thessalonica to abstain from sexual sin and to control their own body in holiness and honor. Let us reflect on and interrogate these verses some more since it applies also to us the chosen of Christ. Hallelujah. To review the passage above, let us answer the following. First, according to the passage, what is the will of God? As stated in verse 3, what are we to abstain from? Also reference verse 3. How differently are we to control our own body as opposed to the Gentiles? Verse 4 and 5. What would the Lord do to us when we indulge in lustful passions? Reference verse 6. And finally, let me ask, is God glorified by the way you handle your body in moral life? I guess this is food for thought for us all today. There are some truths in the passage above that cannot be ignored. And so, let's recap from the scripture. Paul says that it is the will of God that we live in sanctification. Paul urges us to abstain specifically from sexual immorality. Paul instructs that each of us individually should know how to control our own body. Paul says God's judgment will come on all who will exploit others in this matter of sexual sin. And finally, Paul tells his audience that this is a reminder of an earlier warning. Wow! Response How can we bring glory to God in our moral life? Derived from the acronym HOLINESS, here are some ways to stay pure for the glory of God. Letter H in holiness. Let us honor the Lord with the members of our body. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. It reads, Don't you realize that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. So, you must honor God with your body. Letter O in holiness. Let us obey the Lord in all matters, especially those that pertain to our sexuality. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality. Letter L. 
let us leave the company of those who may lead us into sin. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33. The Bible says, Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Letter I. Let us invest quality time to the study of the word of God to build godly character. And I like what the scripture says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17. It says that every scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for showing mistakes, for correcting, and for training character so that the person who belongs to God can be equipped to do everything that is good. And I say amen to that. Letter N in holiness. Never trust yourself and be overconfident of your human strength. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. Therefore, let the one who thinks he stands firm, immune to temptation, being overconfident and self-righteous, take care that he does not fall into sin and condemnation. Mm. Letter E in holiness. Let us examine our deeds always and ask the Holy Spirit to expose our hearts. Psalm 139 verse 23, the Bible says that look into my heart, God, and find out everything I am thinking. First letter S in holiness. Let us surrender to the Holy Spirit so we will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. What I say is this. Let the Spirit direct your lives and you will not satisfy the desires of the human nature. And finally, second letter earth in holiness. Let us seek to do what pleases the Lord and not be partakers of evil deeds. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 10 and 11. It reads, Try to learn what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the worthless things that people do, things that belong to the darkness. Instead, bring them out to the light. Amen. Remember, God has called us to live holy lives, not impure lives. Therefore, anyone who refuses to live by these rules is not disobeying human teaching, but is rejecting God, who gives His Holy Spirit to you. Child of God, if we really love God, we will avoid the place of temptation, so we do not grieve the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, don't blame God when you are tempted. God cannot be tempted by evil. He does not use evil to tempt others. We are tempted by our own desires that drag us off and trap us. Our desires make us sin. And when sin is finished with us, it leaves us scared. Hallelujah. Prayer. Lord Jesus, we trust that you will give us a way of escape from every temptation. So we will glorify you in every aspect of our moral life. Amen. This is all that time would allow us to share today. Until I come your way again, this is Suska. And I wish you Jesus. God bless you.